All right, here we go, goddammit. What's up, guys? It's Derek with Lazard Bros. Welcome to the LZ. Uh, it is currently like 5.30 in the morning. I've been up all night, been looking into this thing I'm about to talk about, and it's quite something. And I will say before I get into this, this is not my type of regular video. I usually don't do these. Uh, I usually leave these videos up to a possum bud and rattle Pokemon. If you guys know who they are, they are literally Detective Pikachus of the Pokemon community. They are awesome. I hope they do a video about this. Uh, if they don't, then I somewhat have it covered. I can't go into depth like they do, but uh, I'm going to do my best because this is quite serious if it is real. And I will say, the picture I'm about to show you, if it comes out as fake, if it comes out not real, I will gladly delete this video because I don't want this to be true. I don't think anybody does, but I'm pretty sure it is. And here is the image that everybody is talking about right now. At first glance, it kind of does look cool. There's nothing but secret rares, rainbow rares on it. But the more you look into the specific stacks and the more you overlook everything, it is nothing but fusion strike uh, secret rares. You have multiple, and I'm talking multiple tall stacks of Espeon VMAX Altar. A $150 card, and they have an ungodly amount right there. The Gengar VMAX Alt Art, stacks of it. Inteleon VMAX Alt Art, stacks of it. It goes on and on. Rainbow Rare Trainers, Gold Cards. It's quite something. And at first glance, it makes me disgusted that something like this can happen. I'm furious. I'm angry. I'm nervous even talking about it. I don't know if you can tell in my voice, but stuff like this should not happen. And again, I hope to God that this image is fake. It's an old image or... It's just not real because I don't want this to be real. But from what I have opened from Fusion Strike, I have barely, and I'm talking barely, gotten any real hits. I've opened five ETBs of Fusion Strike from Sam's Club. I did a video on it, and I got like two full arts. I got a full art Bolton and a full art uh, trainer card. I think it was the Chili Salon and Crest. But no Rainbow Rare. No Alt Art VMAX of Gengar, Espeon, and Teleon. No Mew VMAX Alt Art. This is very disturbing. And I'm going to try to stay on point with what I want to get across here. And for most ETBs that I opened, that could have just been really bad luck. I'm not saying it was. It just, it's really suspicious that a lot of people in that Reddit thread have saying the pull rates out of Fusion Strike. And this leads to other sets, too, that there's just no evidence of, like, Evolving Skies. Pull rates out of that are not good, but we're focused on Fusion Strike here. People do not get good pulls out of Fusion Strike, and this right here could be evidence towards, like, there's a missing... There are a ton, a thousands upon thousands of cards in this image that are missing from regular Pokemon packs that could have been in your packs, could have been in my packs, could have been in my niece's packs... And this isn't just sour grapes, but it's just this stuff should not happen with the amount of security that goes into the printing facilities. From what I've read on Reddit, there's like check-ins, there's bag checks. Hardly You can hardly get anything in or take anything out. But this is just absolutely insane to see, to see like, I don't even know, 300 plus Espeon VMAX Altarts sitting there with the Gengar and Teleon, it's just, it's one of the most wild things I've seen in the Pokemon scene here as of late. It's just absolutely crazy to see. And again, I hope to God, I pray that this image is fake, but it looks real. Like, I know zooming in on the cards is not going to do it justice, but I can see texture on the trainer cards. I can see texture on the other cards. It worries me. Again, I hope Opossum Bud or Rattle Pokemon, shout out, to their go shout out to those guys, I'll link them in the comments or link them in the description, but they can dive way more into this than I can right here, But because this, this is just my general reaction. I'm literally sitting in my car at like 5.30 in the morning because I've been up all night looking into this. Again, I don't have any real information. None of this is confirmed. Pokemon hasn't said anything, hasn't announced anything, but this is very alarming, and, and again, if it could happen to Fusion Strike, why can't it happen to other previous sets? Chilling Rain, Evolving Skies, uh, hell, any other 
sets like pre brilliant stars, like where there's no trainer gallery or anything. Cause, and then like, I don't understand the one thing that's going to get me is why dump all of this to one store? Like, why wouldn't you just spread it out across like over plenty, like over several years, because you'd be set for life if you just piece these out. But I don't know. Again, that's what the one thing that's making me think this is not fake is just cause it's all here at once. But again, criminals are stupid and if they get caught yeah they're stupid i mean you got caught but this is absolutely wild and i hope we get some sort of answer for all of this and again if pokemon does come out and say something about hey we had product stolen off of our line this dude has been dealt with has been charged but what do you do to all of the people that have bought fusion strike packs legitimately because there's been times where I've pulled some good cards. I have pulled Rainbow Rares. I'm not saying some can, can't slip through the cracks because they do. But, man, a Fusion Strike has been rough to almost everybody. And, like, there's times where, you know how quality control works at Pokemon. You get a black code card, which should mean a hollow or better. Then you just get a non-hollow. So is that part of the process where one card's supposed to be there, but something had to change, so they just put something in there? We don't know how the Pokemon printing uh, printing facilities work. We, from what we know, they print in like secret rare sheets. Like if you, they're doing a print run of Rainbow Rares, everything Rainbow Rare will get printed. Golds, they'll do a gold print run. This is just insane. I don't know. <laughs> there's no other words to describe it. It's every word you can think of. It's insane. It's chaotic. It's it's soul crushing because like, again, I have purchased let alone those five ETBs that I did for a video, I purchased thousands of just Fusion Strike packs and I shouldn't say thousands, hundreds at least of packs and haven't pulled as much as the, these people have apparently. If the, Again, if this picture comes out and it's real, they purchase these packs legitimately and they somehow got lucky. It's just too much to, to think otherwise. I don't... They say it's too good to be true, but... With this amount of cards sitting on this table in this picture, I can't think anything else that they're stolen. It's just an insane amount of Pokemon cards. A specific, a specific set, too. That's the thing. Like, if it was a mixed set of Fusion Strike, Chilling Rain, Evolving Skies, then there's a little more uh, leeway for error. But this is all part of one set. So I don't really know where else to go with this video. Uh, I hope Rattle or Opossum Bud does a video. They have a much bigger following following than what we do. Uh, they actually investigate stuff like this. They'll they'll get way better answers than what I ever can. But at this moment in time, we have no real answers. We don't know if this is real. We don't know if this is fake. But again, the um, the volume of cards of secret rare cards sitting on this table is very alarming. It's it's alarming not to not just to the fans, it's not alarming to the buyers, it's alarming to the workers at the printing facility, how it's getting out, how they're able to just steal this amount of just craziness. I don't I don't understand, but uh again, I'm just at a loss of words on how something like this can happen and no legitimate word from anybody. You, you figure They'd have an inventory process to where if this amount amount of cards get stolen, like, hey, we have a problem, we have a printing issue with Fusion Strike going on, so be wary of that. Something, give us a little insight or communication to that stuff because, again, you're not just ripping off your workers, your fans, you're ripping off everybody if this is happening. Like, I hope Pokemon comes out and says something about this, what they're going to say might just be the normal spiel of hey this is going on you know we're trying to fix it we need real legitimate answers here so i don't really know what else to add to this video i'm just rambling again this is just my 100 percent authentic general reaction to this uh and again the moment somebody with legitimacy comes out and says this image is fake it's not real i will gladly I will delete this video with a with a smile on my face because I do not want this to be real. But and again, this may be a case of jumping the gun. Again, there's no information hardly that's out about this. Uh, apparently, this has come from a, a store in Texas. So I don't know if there's any printing facilities in Texas. I don't understand. I just I don't know where this is all coming from. 
Again, there's not enough information out there. I did just want to have a video out just to let you guys know. Again, follow Rattle, follow Apostle I'm sure they'll do a video way better than what I could do here. Again, this is just my general reaction and just be buy from trusted sellers. I know buying from trusted sellers and then just getting nothing in your packs is two completely different things, but buy from trusted sources, look into product, look into pull rates the best that you can from Danny Fan up, whoever else. Just be safe out there. Be cautious with your money and stay tuned. I'm sure there'll be more information released about this, but that's all I got for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Sorry for the rambling and the, the non-linear. I was just going off about different things. There was no like straight th thought process through this. It was just one thing after another. There's just so much to talk about. Stay safe out there and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.